Hello, I just got to my Airbnb in Colorado, Palisade to be exact. So this time I did not want to record while I was driving because I wanted to just focus on the drive and I didn't want to have to like whip out the camera every once in a while. I just wanted to enjoy it or not enjoy driving. So first thing that I need to do is take the food out of the cooler, put one in the freezer and then put one in the fridge. But so far, my first impression of this place is very positive. Um, it, there's plenty of yard space in the back. It's basically 3 p.m. right now, and uh, Riley is busy sniffing around all different rooms. I'm not sure what my plans are for the rest of today. I might take some time and just kind of like explore Palisade today because it's 3. I don't really know if I want to go far for a hike, or I can even take a walk down the street with her, just like a typical walk like we usually do, and maybe go far and see. Um, there was an area when I first turned in off the highway that had like peaches and fruit and I'm kind of curious about that because if they have good produce there, I would love to drop by and get some. But yes, first things first, I need to deal with the food. The ice is still very, very cold and I'm very impressed. Like none of it looks like it has melted. Yeah, look at that. The ice looks fully formed. This part I really hate because it's so cold and my hand has to go in there. show my airbnb here we are at the entrance i don't think i need to turn on the lights okay so yeah this is just pretty much the living room area tv's in the corner oh it's on wheels perfect i'll be able to move it probably put it like right here honestly um we got some sitting areas that's gonna be nice to read sit and read or i could just sit and read outside uh there's a barn don't really think i plan on using it there's a little table area over there um, this is at the end of a street, which is nice. It will be secluded. Here we got the first bedroom. I probably don't plan on sleeping in here. Nice, comfortable couch. We got a chair, a fireplace that I won't be using. Most likely, I don't even know how. And then this will be my bedroom because it's further back. Um, interesting design. I've never seen... It, it looks kind of like a tool warehouse design i don't know what the hell i'm saying but yeah the uh, is the water on it's dripping a little bit does that at home for me too oh hi <laughs> another bathroom right over there uh seating area and then i'll i'll go outside and show you guys the back kitchen but yeah you see what i mean they've got a craftsman thing right here this whole space is open, more craftsmen on the left. Let's go outside and show you the yard. Good. Break. Good. Okay. So, car parked over here. Nice little shaded area. Oh, the light's on. I'm gonna uh, figure out how to turn that off. Don't wanna waste electricity. But uh, just got all this. And, uh, oh, gotta avoid this during fetch. Actually, we will play fetch after I show you guys, but I'm really excited about this over here. Oh crap, you're running really fast. Look how nice that looks. I mean, it's, uh, I do prefer the red of the Utah rock formations. Those look really, really cool. But I just think the shape of it and just the way it looks is so cool because you don't see it very often in California at all really and i didn't know that this was right behind in the yard maybe they had pictures of it but i wasn't really aware of it i'm very very happy with this choice
So I pretty much have everything inside now and I feel like I have unwinded a decent amount. I played some fetch with Riley, so she's tired out. Uh, I was thinking about leaving her in the Airbnb while I go get some food, but after I get some food, I want to explore the area a little bit. So I'm going to go to this place, this restaurant called the Palisade Cafe and Wine Bar, and I will see if they have some delicious food for me to try out. Maybe get a wine pairing. Ooh, I'll have to see. <laughs> so I'm up here at the Tillman Bishop State Wildlife Area. Let me actually take a closer look. Apparently right now, this area is closed for nesting bird habitat. Any public access is prohibited during spring nesting and migration period from March 15 through July 14. Yeah, I can't see anything from here, but look, the little town of Palisade. Okay, so earlier, I ate at Palisade Cafe and Wine Bar and wasn't very thrilled about it. I kind of felt like my waitress was very uh, straight faced, just didn't feel friendly. I really, really hate being served by somebody like that. So that kind of annoyed me. The food was overpriced and pretty average. I got a salad. And I know salads are just salads, but for like what I got, I feel like $15 is super overpriced, but I guess even in smaller towns here, they're going to charge fucking $15 for a salad. I got a slice of pie. They charged $8 for that slice of pie and it was dog shit. It was peach and it is, it was served cold. That just really confused me because I can't imagine why something you bake would be served cold. My main experience with pie has been the Julian Pie Company in San Diego. Their pies are really, really good. Just great texture overall. This pie was a piece of shit. The crust was hard, cold, cold, cold. Just terrible. I paid $25 for my fucking meal there. What a waste of money. Hi, good morning. It's nine. I woke up at around seven to come to um, Rifle Falls State Park and I already went and left. So these are the types of things that I get stupidly anxious about. And um, it feels so weird to talk about because it's really not a big deal probably, but I just feel like a criminal sometimes. So um, once I got to the park, I was like, oh, there's nobody at the entrance. It was self-serve payment, which means that I probably needed cash and they wanted you to put the money in the envelope and put it in um, their Dropbox. And I don't have cash on me. I never carry cash. So I parked inside, went to the falls. The falls is very close. So I was able to take pictures, take some videos. And then I left without paying <laughs> because I would have felt very nervous to stay there for a long time because I was thinking, oh, the more time passes, maybe they're gonna start checking the cars and the passes. Um, I really, really hate that I have a thought process like this. I just, the whole time I was in the park, I just felt weird and bad about it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just head to Glenwood Springs actually and see if there's anything to explore around there. Uh, I could even do a hike later on, but the good thing about coming here early, of course, was that there was hardly anybody there. Um, I was able to get clearer pictures of the falls without anybody in the background. And I was actually thinking, do I need to come here early? I don't necessarily like waking up early on vacation because for a vacation, I still want to sleep in. I definitely didn't get good sleep. Maybe I'll take a nap later or maybe I'll just head home sooner today. But uh, Glenwood Springs is about an hour away from here. So I'm basically doing like a triangle. Um, I'm pretty much on the west side. This is gonna be backwards for you guys. And then I drove east and then north. And then Glenwood Springs is going back down south and then east. And then I have to go all the way back west to get home. But Glenwood Springs is my original destination. I just decided to book in Palisade because it was cheaper. I'm passing by this on my drive back from Rifle Falls State Park and bodies of water make me excited. I don't see it very often when I'm in San Diego. Finally in Glenwood Springs and uh, 
decided to go on this random trail that I found. So interesting, right after I parked, I came across this lady who was like, oh, is that Gavit's husky? And I'm like, no, she's mine. <laughs> and I'm not local from around here, so I don't know what you're talking about. Friendly people, for sure, so far. I feel like everywhere that I've stopped, I've had conversations with people. Nothing wrong with that. I actually enjoy that very much. I find that strange at times, actually, because I know I call myself very introverted, but I don't know. California thing? Maybe when I'm not in California, I feel more welcome to um, other interactions. Tom? Good? Good job. Break. Good. Beautiful. So I am down here, Colorado River. We're just chilling by the water. Yes, right here. Perfect. Ah. Peaceful. Maybe I'll sit here for a while. So yeah, I had just done hiking for a little bit. Um, it seems like there were people doing some sort of work. Um, so there were trucks and there were a lot of people along the trail and kind of blocking the trail. So once I got to a certain point, not very far in unfortunately, I just, I don't know. I feel weird when I come across workers that are doing stuff. I don't feel comfortable going around them. So I came back to the rest area and now I'm just sitting here by the river because I'm tired. Yeah, I've been out since like 7.30 and it's pretty much noon now. It would be very early for me to go back. I feel like if I go back, um, I wouldn't go back out again because where, I, where I'm staying is pretty remote. There's not a lot of interesting things around. I mean, if there's a lot of wineries, I could go to one of those. Hi, good morning. It's Tuesday and it's fucking cold. I am really not prepared for this trip. I've realized I just brought a lot of tanks I packed so many short sleeves that I'm pretty much not going to wear. I feel like I'm going to just be wearing this jacket all the time. The thing is though, I always feel like when it comes to cold weather, if I was prepared with everything, I would enjoy it. But since I'm not, I'm just kind of like suffering a little bit. The house is cold at night when I'm trying to sleep. Um, the heating system is through a fireplace and it doesn't really get in my room very easily. So that sucks. I might switch to sleeping on the couch. The couch is right in front of the fireplace. I think that would just make it so much easier for me than trying to like double up the blankets. The bed's not even comfortable anyways, so I might, yeah, just switch to the couch. I am here getting some breakfast because it's fucking cold. It doesn't really get much warmer until like late afternoon. Well, like I'd say 12 to 1 p.m. is when it starts to warm up. Yeah, today's, oh, today's high. Oh, wow. The high is more like 5 to 6 p.m. Very interesting. So it's going to be like 50s from 2 to 3 p.m. I wanted to go on this hike, and I think it should still be okay. I might just have to wear this jacket the whole time, which I don't mind. The only thing that I mind about that is if it starts to warm up. And if I start to warm up, then I'm going to have to take this jacket off and carry it, and it's very bulky. Uh, the hike that I plan on doing is one that apparently you have potential to see wild horses. So I'm, I hope, I really hope <laughs> I see that. Something that I've been considering is going to Archie's National Park problem with that is it's two hours one-way drive and I'd imagine I would have to go super early to avoid the crowds all of the stuff if I wanted to spend some time in the park and enjoy it then it's going to drag out the day but that's something that I'm tempted to do but um, not too sure if I plan on doing it just yet hello we are starting our hike this hike is actually located right behind this shooting complex so had to drive about a mile in and uh, it's a nice area though look at these rocks and everything looks so nice 
This is a long hike. So hopefully we'll go for most of it. I'm really hoping to do most of it. I just had breakfast. I didn't put water in my backpack. Oh my God, I'm so bad. What is wrong with me? So pretty. There's actually a few cactuses, cacti that I've seen. So I really need to be careful about that. Yeah, shit, there's some right there. Hey, but you see this right here? So scary. I need to make sure she stays on the trail entirely. <sighs> I am not lucky today. No horses anywhere, but I went out, I'd say about four miles, just like the other people. And I don't really want to go further because, um, well, I'm sure she's tired. I'm tired too. I mean, oh shoot, this is a lot of water. Hopefully she doesn't splash all over me. <laughs> Funny, animals are just like, I don't care if I get wet. I just got back from my hike and I am exhausted. My feet are tired, but I think I'm still gonna go out to the winery. Um, they're usually situated up on the hillside, so it should have really nice views of the surrounding area. And I guess I can just chill, drink some wine, read, write a little bit in my planner, just relax. And that's pretty much going to be the last thing that I do for today, it's 3 p.m., but I'm tired. I think we were hiking for like three and a half hours. So I need to chill for the rest of the day. <laughs> Earlier, for some reason, I went to the bathroom and I knew she was gonna come in. The door was like slightly ajar. And <laughs> the moment her face peeked past the door, she just gave me a fright. As the girl from Parent Trap would say, whatever her name was, the twin, Annie. Yeah, Annie, the British one. <laughs> Tuesday night. So I went to the wine tasting and I was hoping for a little bit more. I had these grand ideas of me sitting like near the edge of the top of the hill, um, overlooking Palisade with great views, sipping my wine, but it wasn't like that at all. Um, their property was very large, but I did not actually take the time to explore it. I, it would have been nice if it was the way that I imagined it because what ended up happening was he was like, um, we serve it one at a time. So I had to keep getting up and walking back inside and getting new wine after, after I finished sipping one glass, um, I got seven and they don't give you a lot, but that, that makes sense because I was starting to feel it. But pretty much after that, I came home. I ordered myself some Applebee's, which is surprising because I haven't had Applebee's in a very long time. When I was a teenager, that used to be my favorite restaurant for some reason. And then over the years after, I heard so many people shitting on Applebee's that it's just like microwaved food that I stopped getting it. But the problem with this area is that there is very few places that deliver to you that's not fast food and I don't wanna eat fast food. So I ordered a salad from Applebee's and I got a side of mashed potatoes and it was fine. So they might be my go-to for this week if I don't feel like driving out to get food. Um, today was mainly an exception because I had just had wine so I didn't want to go out and drive. Plus like most of the better options are like 15 to 20 minutes away and I just don't feel like driving that. I'm actually just about to go on the laptop and kind of plan out my day for tomorrow. So for tomorrow, I am hoping to go to Archie's National Park. So that one has been something that I've been thinking about a lot because Archie's was actually on my way over here so I stayed at a hotel in Cedar City, Utah, and then I drove for four and a half hours to get here. And uh, along the way, I passed by Archie's and I had considered stopping by, but the thing is, I think if I stopped by, I would have just like fucking half-assed it because it was in the middle of my drive. 
I just thought it would be too exhausting, so I didn't stop by. And it still kind of intrigues me. It's two hours one-way drive though, which is a lot. But I do feel like it is a missed opportunity. So, for some reason, this one trip that I took with my parents many, many years ago, 2011, I think is when we took the trip. And basically, we went to a bunch of places. It was part of a Chinese bus tour. We went to Vegas, we went to Utah, we went to Yellowstone, it was just all over the place. And what I just recall is that I was extremely unhappy on that trip and I was crying a lot and um, very upset all the time, just wasn't, en wasn't enjoying myself. And Archie's is actually one of the places that we went to and I feel like now as I'm older, I want to revisit all of these places that I went to with them on that trip because I want the opportunity to explore these places on my own and on my own schedule. So that was one of my biggest complaints being on those tours. I don't like just being dropped off and being like, okay, be back at this time. Like, I don't like that. Me being here now, it being two hours away, which is still accessible, I feel like it would be a missed opportunity. Ideally, I don't want to hike tomorrow. So even though Archie's does have a few hikes, maybe at the shorter ones, I will do them if I feel like it. But I definitely need to give my body a break. I probably shouldn't even be doing workouts after I hike. Today, I hiked for like close to four hours. It's pretty tough on my body plus my legs especially. So I should not overwork it. Hi, so I just picked up some food. Um, noodles and company and I <laughs> changed my mind I might just go straight to Archie's after I eat um, just because you know what fuck it fuck it if there's a line if there's a lot of people whatever I don't care I don't want to delay it too long I don't mind driving during the day so I got shrimp scampi this looks pretty good hi I am on the delicate arch trail right now Almost to the top. Oh my god. Climbing that is so tiring. Look at the parking lot so far. Riley's just there waiting. Okay, I'd say I hiked for about an hour, and uh, as usual towards the last stretch, I was nervous, so I ran for a bit of it, but she's so good as usual. Let's uh, get her inside. Okay, come on. Let's go. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Why are you so cute? Hmm? Let's take the leash off. I'm still probably gonna drive around for a little bit longer. Why are your ears perked back? Why are you such a cute one? There you go. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh. Okay, I didn't have a poop bag on me, so I had to bring this just in case while we were walking around the parking lot. You're a good girl. There's actually someone with their own dog. Looked like a chihuahua. He had it in his um, backpack while we were hiking up, and he pretty much brought the dog all the way to Delicate Arch in his backpack. It's a she, actually, sorry. And um, very impressed. She was very calm the whole time, very well behaved and he had her walking around the parking lot as well. We were sitting at the far end, just kind of relaxing, and then he kind of walked close, he asked if they could meet, and I actually kind of wanted to because 
you know, the dog looked well behaved, but I don't like on leash greetings. I just don't like it. So I would have preferred off leash, but we're also in a national park. So don't want to just let them off leash. Plus his dog may not be fully off leash trained. So Riley, look at those brown eyes of yours. That's right. <laughs> I always just laugh looking at you. You're funny. <laughs> Hi. So I am finally back at my Airbnb. Today was a very tiring day of a lot of driving, um, but I'm relieved. Uh, right when I got back, before I stopped here actually, I decided to buy two bottles of wine from Col Terry's. And I got the same one basically. So this was the one, Coral White Cabernet. This was my favorite out of the seven that I tasted. Oh fuck, wait. <laughs> So, oh, right, right, right. Okay, I, it's not that I don't have like, I, at first I was like, oh, it's like beer, I need the freaking opener and I don't have one, but this is just a twist cap. I have food coming and I'm probably just gonna like chill and watch something. So I can probably open this now. And probably because this is wine country, they already have wine glasses here. Oh boy, I'm weak. How do I do this? rubber thing, right? No? Fuck? Oh God. Wait, what the fuck? Why my left hand? Hmm. All right. Uh-oh. So I asked him about this swiv swirling thing. Let's put this over here. There's a lot in here. I can't do this as easily, but something about trapping the alcohol. They're designed like this for a reason. Now this one is so light. It's so light. Hi, I am doing this trail and it is fairly remote. Wait. I am supposed to go down here, aren't I? I remember reading it said like you have to go down on the railroad or something. Yeah, Dominguez. And I guess I follow the railroad for a while. Pretty nice area. I wish this area wasn't in the shade. I want some sun. It's chilly. It's drizzling a little bit. <laughs> Do you want to get in? There is a guy in his raft that just passed by. Fishing, I think, with some dogs. What has her excited? Okay, I think I fixed her pack somewhat. I might want to do more when I get back, I guess. It's just tricky at times. Like I want the straps to be equal length. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what are you looking at? I don't see anything there. Come on this way. Hey, be careful. What the fuck are you doing? You're being so silly. <sighs> okay, maybe we should go a 
is it hot for you? Okay, come on. All right, so I got a berry danish, a banana cloud cake, and a regular <laughs> vanilla cupcake. I might have the berry danish first. That one looks pretty good. The thing about pastries is that like visually they don't look that great, but I'm sure they taste fine. Okay, honey, I'm ready when you are. Okay, um, I just want a 357 omelet, and can I get sausage and all veggies on there, and cheddar cheese? Do you want hash browns? Uh, yes, please. And actually, no toast. Um, and do you want the jalapenos also on the veggies? Mm, uh, no, actually, I don't. Okay, so I did tomato, mushroom, bell pepper, and onion? Yes, that sounds good. Okay, and no toast. Do you want to substitute um, a muffin or a biscuit or a pancake or a French toast? Um, up uh, one pancake would be fine. Okay, you're okay. paying for it anyway, you know? Yeah, yeah that's true. All right. Breakfast is ordered. I messed up. I thought I was leaving today, but I apparently booked from Sunday to Sunday. And I think the main reason I did that was because this Airbnb, they offer a discount for one week. I have been terrible. I finished one whole bottle of wine yesterday. I feel fine though, but I just, I don't drink for the right reasons. I don't really know why I'm doing it. It is 7.14. And my reservation is at 8 o'clock. I'm probably going to get there a little bit early just because I have been looking forward to this all day. All right. So I'm not really sure if I need to bring all this extra stuff. I just tend to like to bring my planner if I ever feel like writing in it. Um, honestly, during a meal, I don't think that's a bad idea either. It's just that I need to have the space to write. But, um, my book as well, I can bring that, read a little bit in between servings, or I don't know, but I was looking at the menu with somebody, and just discussing the options was getting me excited because, um, just trying to figure out ahead of time what I want. Uh, ribeye is definitely the entree that I want. There's like three courses, I guess you would say, so the starting... There's a foie gras, foie gras, foie gras, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, they have ravioli, they have some other stuff, borscht, something like that. It's like beet soup, but I might just go with ravioli because that's what I'm familiar with. And then for dessert, they have a couple other options, but I'm probably going to go with cheesecake. I don't know what the heck their other options actually are because it just says like one of them says mango lime and something like I, I just don't know like what it's gonna look like or that that's the problem like if I had pictures of everything it would be easier to tell yeah I haven't been eating actual food all day looking forward to this I know it's totally my mistake I probably should have had some sort of real light meal uh, sometime in the afternoon but I didn't <sighs> It's so hard to eat properly sometimes because I have my moments where I just don't feel like eating. Like nothing appeals to me for something to crave and eat. Okay, so it's pretty much my final night here and I got back from dinner a while ago. It's about, whoa, it's already 10.43 and uh, I'm pretty much getting ready for bed. I'm just trying to pack as much as I can and then I'll finalize most of it tomorrow. The Dinner was good. I did really enjoy the food. It's just um, hard for me not to feel poorly sometimes when I'm eating. Cause like there's all these different expectations and for someone who's not experienced in fine dining, um, I think I overly worry about the cost and just wanting to make the most out of everything. And an issue that I kept running into is the fact that I get full very quickly. And um, I also feel like if I start overeating, then I can immediately feel that type of discomfort occurring. And I think it's also a mental thing because as I keep taking more bites, like I just feel terrible. So I was kind of feeling that way because first thing I ordered was ravioli. It was delicious. I really, really enjoyed it. But I just started getting concerned because as I kept eating it, I was thinking, 
am I going to have space for the steak? Because the steak is pretty much the most exciting thing that I was looking forward to um, at the restaurant. So I wanted to make sure that I could eat all of it or most of it. And even though um, by the time the steak came, I did have space for it, but I, I think I only ate like two thirds of it. I don't know. I don't like the atmosphere of dining at a restaurant like that, I suppose. It just feels off-putting. So I did enjoy the food, um, but I just don't think it's something that I would do very often. Maybe I do realize that a week is fairly long to stay in Explorer Place. So I am definitely learning that. Maybe four full days is good enough, but maybe the six to seven day mark is starting to uh, prolong it too much. But anyways, I'm going to finish packing it. I'm gonna finish packing what I can, and then I'm going to head to bed early because I want to try to get as much sleep as I can before I start driving tomorrow. I do feel fairly tired right now and I haven't been able to sleep very well here so the earlier I sleep I think the better just because I won't expect good quality sleep.